Hey guys, it's um, Colton here from team, uh, FLL Team 3552 Legacy, uh, FLL Team in uh, Mesa, Arizona. I'm just here to talk about the new Nature's Fury FLL mat for the 2013-2014 season. And in this video, I'm just going to give a brief uh, overview of the mat, and then in the next videos, I'll be giving my thoughts on the mat and what I think about it. So let's just get started. Uh, first thing, uh, should we see the usual base a rectangle, as we all know, it used to be a square. Um, but it pretty much looks all the same, same uh, logos, still Lego and uh, all the brands they have. Everything looks pretty much the same. So if we go a little north of that, the first thing you're going to see is uh, the graphics on this board. Is uh, There's a lot, a lot more graphics than usual, and then there are actually better graphics than they usually have. So the first you're going to see what looks like a volcano right here. And then uh, if you go a little farther, you have... Uh, first mission uh, models and then uh, there you see some power lines uh, graphics behind it and then if you go a little east of that you have a siren which is right there and then you have a helicopter uh, two actually two helicopters right there so yeah that's pretty much for a north, uh, north of the base and if you go east of the base you're going to see uh, more graphics here this is a city right here uh, a big uh, big city probably um, like Miami or something and you go a little east to that, you're going to see some really big mission uh, models with graphics right here. Uh, we have the what looks like to be ch uh, trees being blown by like a hurricane or something. And you can also see by the mission models, it's actually slanted. It does not go straight right there. So next, for if you go east to that in the uh, southeast corner, we have uh, the Eiffel Tower in uh, Paris. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much the graphics right there. It's in a... Uh, for the southeast end. For a little north, we have what looks to be like a hurricane or like the sky right here. It's actually, a lot, it's in most of the graphics on at the top, but we'll see. Then you have the evacuation route sign and some more mission models right here. And then you see a runway right here with some mission models on it. And then right here, it looks like a hurricane or like a tornado hit right here. And you have a lot of debris, like flip flops and stuff, and uh, sticks and wood. Just right here, and then right here looks to be like a graphics or a hurricane or something right here. So I'm gonna go a little forward. You got the Nature's Fury uh, logo here, and then uh, you have mission models, some mission models right here. And this is usually where they have that thing that uh, overhangs on both uh, both tables, like the ball or the two rads or that arm thing and body forward. So yeah, that's pretty much the mat right now. There's a few mission models. This is really the big one right here. When they, you also notice there's a lot of little colored lines here. As we can see, blue, green, purple, red, yellow, pink, and blue. And green right here. And But there's not a lot of uh, black and white lines. You know, the robot uses its lighter color sensors to follow. There's, right, there's one right here, north of base, two lines right there. Then you go a little east, there's another one. A little east again, you got another one. And then there's another one right here, connecting to the intersection. But those are only like black and white lines that usually you have the robot follow. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of mission models I can see that aren't supposed to be stuck down. But uh, you can see right here, a lot of these right here have to be stuck down. But we don't know what that's for yet. So uh in the next video, I'll be giving uh, my thoughts on what I think the missions are for, and uh, so stay tuned.